All right, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, try to set up these blinkers or at least get it started. I don't know how much time I've got before it rains. It's getting kind of dark, a little windy. But anyway, um, so last night I went ahead and put my turn switch on. I bought just a standard universal motorcycle turn switch setup. I've already got this one. I like. I was gonna change it out with this one, but this one has got a full light off, running lights, headlights, and then high beams. This one's only got light on, light off. And nah, I'm good. I'll just work the two of them. This gives me a bunch of other switches for uh, some other stuff later. So what I'm gonna do to start with is get the blinker relay set up, and I'm just gonna do the blinkers for now. So the first thing I did was pull the cover, or I had to pull the rack and then pull the cover off of this little electric box here. Took a piece of wire, started fishing it back through following conduits all the way up to here so this is going to be our power wire he's all set up ready to go and so what I'll do is I'll take uh, this relay put it in this box run these wires down in here and put the lights on and then try to wire it all up and see how it goes so this is where I'm at right now I'll uh, do another video when I get a little bit more Here's what I've got so far in this mess. Um, real quick layout. Each, of course, each wire is 12 volt DC. It's got two wires, power and ground. Um, so what I'm doing uh, for this setup is I'm running two common grounds, a common ground for the front and a common ground for the back. So like this one is uh, the common ground for the front. And this is uh, power from the switch that's going to the front and to the back. So. I've got this side done. I still got to do the other side and I'll show you what it looks like. That's the front. Not too bad for 50 cent lights. And that's the back. It's a lot brighter in person. But I'll have another one on the other side. and It's not too fancy, but it'll get the point across. Okay, so it's all done. This is uh, kind of what it looks like just sitting. Got the two little guys in the front. And then I use the reflector mounts in the back to mount the ones for the back. Let me show you. So that's left. That's right. All in all, I think I got about maybe $20 in this modification with pretty much all the parts and the wire, excluding probably tape. Tape's cheap. But yeah, I'm guessing eh, about 20 bucks in the lights and everything. The switch, the relay, um, and the wire. It took a lot of wire. I actually thought I overshot the wire by a lot. I got like 30 feet of wire. And the guy even looked at me. He's like, you sure that's, that's not too much? I was like, no, just give me 30 feet, make sure. And I had, after it was all said and done, I had about a foot left. So yeah, to do a job like this, about 30 feet of wire on a short four-wheeler. Bigger four-wheeler, um, yeah, you can go ahead and go up to 40 or 50 just to be safe.